What is going on, everyone? Mean little guy. We it is uh, Saturday, December fourth or fifth? Was it fourth? Fifth. 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 fifth was yesterday. All right, so we're gonna head down to the new shop, and guys, we are gonna start new business. So we're gonna start a firewood, just a small, small little firewood business uh, roadside we're gonna sell it on the roadside we gotta go find the we gotta go find the hardwood right mm -hmm. we gotta figure out where we're gonna get our hardwood where we're gonna um, what else uh, price, yeah, price. We're gonna, we gotta figure out the price we gotta figure out what tools we need let to try it you guys uh, fashion had his soda business um, but Winter time, we close it. We close that down. Yep, because the soda will explode in there. And so we close it for the winter and he reopens it. So that's his business, um, summer business. Um, this summertime will probably be when I get more money. More money? Oh, yeah. Because more people will be going camping. Yep. So, but we want to keep the income, the money coming in during the season. So we're gonna do a firewood. We're gonna start splitting firewood and selling it. So right now we're gonna head out to the dump site. That, look what they got for wood uh, that uh, people come out and dump. And we're gonna. Oh yeah. And uh, if there's any good, some nice ones, we're gonna we're gonna haul it to the shop, you guys. We're gonna haul it to the shop. Um, and then uh, we'll cut it up to length. I'm not sure what is it. Fifth. We gotta figure out how long the how long of uh, what we gotta cut. So um, gonna look for a log splitter. It's just something small, something simple, you guys. Nothing fancy for now. We want to start as bare minimum as we can. But we already have the skid loader and the chainsaw. So the only thing that we would need is um, the log splitter. So, right? Oh, see right there. What's that? See that one? Jeez, that's a big piece. Yeah. yeah. Did somebody lose that, or they? It's just in there. I think somebody lost it. All right, you guys. We are out here at the landfill. Now there's the leaves and back here is where the trees. Oh boy, look at that, bud. That's wow. I can kind of tell by the white ones that they're Wow. There's some that are like white. Wow, bud. There's a lot of hardwood out here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Come on, let's go out and check it out. This kid just put the tree. Wow. All right, guys, so we are out here at the dump. We're gonna, man, there's some nice hardwood here. I think that's oak right here. That's oak. Wow, bud. We're gonna come on and get these. So what ones are you looking for? Huh? What ones are you looking for? Hardwood, like those guys, those big ones right there. Yeah, yeah, like this one. Right here, yeah. I'm gonna see our tree guy. I, I don't know if that's hardwood or not. This one, I don't think so because it, it's white and then goes into brown. But right here, like these guys. Yeah. This is oak. There's birch. Oh man, see how easy this one is. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll bring the skid loader, bud. We'll bring the skid loader and our dump truck mm -hmm. and we'll load these up. Look at that one right there. Yeah. That long piece. This is exciting, bud. Mm -hmm. This is money. I think that one right there is hardwood, but it's this just one? Like shaved off of it. Okay, I'm gonna message our tree guy, see if it's hardwood. Let's go over here. There's some over here. 
I'm gonna bring the uh, grappler so we can uh, get these. Wow. See, there's, oh man, those are nice in there. This is nice right here. See, this is a nice one right here, small one. I think somebody dropped that one on the road. All right, bud, I think we got our source. Yeah. We got our source, found our source. Then we're gonna have to figure out how, what length we gotta cut it. All right, we'll figure that out. Yeah. But we just need the wood right now. This will make more profit than the pop machine because we're yeah. selling it for more profit than the um, pop machine. Yeah. Because what are, what are you selling your soda for right now? 75 cents. 75 cents. That's what it has been for like yep. the past two years that I've done yeah. it. And this we could sell for four five. or five bucks yeah. more. Which will make even more. And we don't have to and buy the wood? To, yeah. And then we can just um, keep doing it. And plus, when we cut the wood, it makes it into smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. So then we can sell it for... You get more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more profit mm -hmm. more profit and we don't have much uh, we don't have to buy nothing you yeah. know Other than a log splitter. yep log splitter and then fuel maybe chain you know some chains mm -hmm. so, alright guys we're gonna head back let's go back here bud go, let's go figure out where we want to put it we're gonna take we're gonna actually take this container out of this metal thing we can use that for wood in here mm -hmm. just stack the wood in there you know let's go back here bud so <clears throat> all this junk has to go we have to get rid of that to get rid of that, rid of that. so yeah so back here we got to clean a lot of this stuff out but bud I think what we can do is I wonder you think if we would move like this would be a nice spot mm -hmm. you know all right guys so um, before Ashen and I bring wood and stuff over we're we gonna figure out what the regulations is to sell firewood right we want to sell it legally and we, we want to do it right I know it's just small right now and stuff uh, I just want Ashen to be able to um, make a little income and stuff, but at the same time, working with the laws and regulations, you guys. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna take the initiative to figure out what it is that we need to do in order to sell, you know, firewood. And so, we want to do it right. And so, um, Instead of haul, the plans changed today, so we're not gonna haul everything, um, haul the wood out here yet. But yes, yeah, so we back. I'm back here right now. I'm friends with the the son of the owner's land, right? So I called up the son and said, "Hey, um, there's some use, usable space there. Do you guys mind renting that's that?" Sp that uh, yeah, I'll walk renting this lot out that's back here. I'll show you guys here. And so I called him up, and so he came down this morning and we talked. And I'm renting it, you guys. I'm renting this spot. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of cleanup. I told him I'm gonna clean this place up and make it look nice and store our, uh, you know, store our uh, equipment and stuff down here as well and have some aggregates back here and so all this brush you guys we're gonna cut down clean up keep all the good big trees right and so um we're gonna make a path here somewhere around here yes yeah, so right here so we're gonna cut that tree that tree this tree all of this right here out you guys we're gonna cut that out knock it down um and um just uh you know clean all this up all that has to be clean all this has to be clean all them dead branches will be cut down and cleaned out right here as well and so um and so all of this here right here will be cleaned out you know make keeping all the good trees 
Like I said, we'll clean all that out. We need as much space as we can get. So, I don't know, you guys. I don't know what's going to come out of everything that we're, we're doing right now, you know. But it's a step forward to just progress. And, you know, I want to get Ashen. I want to get my son involved with what we're doing and just get his mind rolling and thinking, you know. It's not so much about how much money um, I'm going to make or anything. It's more of um, getting him in the business mindset. And so I want him to see that. So today I'm going to bring him down. I should have had him down here too to see how we talk and negotiate deals on properties, you know. and. Just what it takes to make stuff happen. I should have had him down here, but he was at home eating. And so I was just excited, you guys, to get. I woke up this morning. It's like, man, you know, I've got this time and I just want, I want to get Ashen involved more of what we're doing and let him see this because it's very important when they're that little. Because I've never got a chance to see or do those things, you know. So, this is awesome, you guys. This is nice. So, nice location. I'm not, I think it's like, I'm sure it's like 65, yeah, 65, 70 feet wide. Guys, I bet it's about 200, 200 feet deep, you know? 100, 200 feet, yeah. So, yeah I'm gonna clean all this brush out. We have to clean all that brush out. out so far that when we lift that up it gets on that look at that that's done we're done for there yeah that's not gonna work hold on well guys I guess I just ran over my chainsaw jeez 
Oh my god. Note to self, never leave chainsaw where I'm gonna drive. Boy, that's not good. That is not good. Boy. Frustrated guys. I knew I felt something right when I ran it over. Oh, man. And that is a good chainsaw too. Never ever put this on the ground. Oh my God. Oh man, I am frustrated. Jeez, oh, it is demolished guys. Look at that. Jesus. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, lesson learned, I guess, guys.